Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to make your own DIY Easter baskets. Um, as you guys may know, Easter is around the corner and Easter baskets are super expensive. So I went ahead and made my own for my daughters. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want to learn and see how I did it, please stay tuned. Okay, hey guys, I just wanted to show you my daughter's basket. This is a good basket for anyone who has like a one-year-old. Um, there's really no need to put much in their basket. I mean, because they're little um so for her i put two books from tj maxx actually there's three books there's one in the back you can't really see it um i got the hatchimals from michael's the bunny is from tj maxx as well i bought these little alphabet letters i don't know if you can see them i got this from the dollar store and then um all this right here is from the dollar store these are little uh bath toys um bubbles and the little play-doh eggs I got those at TJ Maxx as well for like $3.99, super cheap. The most expensive thing I would say is probably the basket, which was $10.99. I got it at Michael's. Okay, so this is my older daughter's basket. Um, I purchased this basket at Michael's. It was about $15, um, which I think is a good price being that it's super cute. Um, and then I went ahead and stuffed it with this stuffing. I purchased this at the dollar store. Um, they do have some at Michael's, but it's like $3.99 for a really small pack. So I would definitely check out the dollar store. They have better deals. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that I got from the dollar store. Um, so I did purchase this as well at the dollar store. Um, you can also find these at Michael's, but they're a little more pricier. They're like $6.99 for a pack of uh, chalk eggs. And then I purchased uh, this little carrot-shaped um, bubble. From the dollar store it was a pack of two so i went ahead and put one in her sister's as well i got her some coloring books because she's really into arts and crafts uh this bunny is super cute they can go ahead and paint it and then um you know you can always hang it somewhere um <clears throat> as well as a dollar uh tic-tac-toe game uh the color this cute little color paint set and i bought the girls matching um headband easter bunny uh headbands um super cute and then i bought so i'm not really into putting a lot of candy in my girls baskets because either way they're gonna get a lot of candies in their little uh when they look for the eggs so i just went ahead and put two types of candies i put this hatchimal jumbo candy egg this one i purchased at michael i think it was like 4.99 i can't really remember but it isn't too expensive and it comes with a couple couple uh candies in there i bought this from the dollar store a cute little gum thing that she's really gonna like and I got the TJ, oh, it's falling apart, but this is a Easter egg from TJ Maxx. It kind of melted, but oh well, I'm still going to put it in there. She'll still like it. <clears throat> and then one place, I feel like the most expensive thing in my zip basket would have to be this that I bought from Kohl's. It was, I feel like one was $8 and the other one was buy one, get one 50% off. So I think this one was $4. Um, super cute. Little girls love stuff like this. Um, so I would definitely recommend checking out your Kohl's. And then I bought most of this stuff from TJ Maxx. This cute little bath fizz from TJ Maxx. Super cute, shaped in a bunny. And I bought these uh, from TJ Maxx as well. Some cute little headbands that you can go ahead and put in their baskets. Uh, I bought these little eggs uh, decorations that I'm just going to put in the basket random places to make it look a little cuter. Um, but yeah. <laughs> bag um i bought this bag at the dollar store um it is doing on high heat and then um yeah it's pretty easy guys don't be intimidated by it so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i did it I hope
hope you guys give it a try. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to give me a comment down below. And like I said, give it a try, guys. It's super inexpensive. You'll probably spend more money purchasing the ones that are made. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend making your own. And you can always put your own uh, details in it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave it a comment down below. And also, please subscribe, guys. My channel is barely starting up. So, I'm pretty excited about uh, uploading some more videos. Anyways, thank you and have a good day.